Well, this one is just uh, picked up a couple other new toys. Um, picked up a uh, Pride KW1 and a Windjammer Power Modulator. And um, one of my old favorites is this, this Tram D201 that has been modified with a uh, 40 channel PLL somebody put in there, not me. Um, one of my favorite radios. I like the uh, 40 channel PLL somebody put in there. So anyway, uh, just put these together and was playing with it. Um, it's late, so the band's quiet. So um, put it on the dummy load and uh, like I say, picked up the uh, Windjammer off eBay. I've had some in the past and um, I've got some other modulators now some JB 12s 150 76s and I have a power modulator like this one similar but it doesn't have the LED readout it's just called power modulator I think the same people who made the Firebird uh, 500 made these but anyway it's just a single 6BQ5 and uh, on Facebook there's some hams who's talking about uh, you know why do they call them modulators they're linear amplifiers I'm like no they're not designed to be linear you know uh, uh, you know five watts out for every watt in they're not designed to do that they're designed to be nonlinear where they um, dead key low and swing high you know by design they are nonlinear amplifiers and you know uh, nonlinear sounds you know pretty technical like what's a nonlinear so it's just easier to say modulator so for the people that don't you know believe in you know everything's got to be linear well okay to each their own but um you know they drive amplifiers you know some of them uh, better than a linear amplifier or a radio alone would low dead key high swing a lot of amplifiers like that as opposed to high dead key and low swing um, so anyway, um, that's on standby and that's on standby and just a radio on a dummy load, um, 20 watt scale on average. Two and a half swing, about six or so. Um, if I retune the radio, it'd probably do four, four and a half, but I got all this junk in line, so, um, you know it needs to be retuned and that's knocking it down a little bit so anyway we're gonna put the um, wind jammer power modulator on uh, still 20 watt scale on average and we did keen about three now audio audio talking about 15 and of course whistling I'm um, putting it uh, in the corner so we're gonna go to the 200 watt scale audio 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 talking about 23 24 average from a 3 watt dead key again this is a non-linear amplifier or a modulator as I call them and on peak audio 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 so it's doing over 50 peak from a 3 watt dead key so that's the uh, Windjammer power modulator, but we're going to go over to the 2000 watt scale and put it back on average and turn the power modulator off and put the uh, Pride KW1. And by the way, a KW1 is just a um, Pride DX300, but they changed the input from a uh, tone input to a... Um, um, basically a resistive network to back to input down and make this into a high drive uh, so basically they designed this to take like 50 to 100 watts drive with that resistive network for the input uh, tuning um, and you still get you know the same out of it which is about you know 300 or so bird watts so you're gonna get out of a 250B and this one actually the resistive network uh, has been taken out and it has the regular uh, DX300 stuff so it's got a tuned input on it and it's single band uh, 10 and 15 meters only and the band switch 
since, since it doesn't have any bands has been changed to a uh, pot where it's variable bias so you can turn the uh, dead key or the class of operation up and down using this band switch here so variable pot with the nomad board um, both the nomad low voltage and the high voltage board and the nomad low voltage board um, you can move the bias around a lot higher and a lot lower than the original factory and actually um, with the nomad board you can use a um, 4CX250 or the 8930 or I think a 4CX400 to plug in there too with a uh, bigger um, plate cap and a bigger chimney on it and I think this one has the uh, bigger 8930 in there you can see it's a little bit bigger than a uh, oh here we go over here 4CX250 and the bigger 8930 I think the only difference is the bigger fins and the bigger cooling so it cools better so it can dissipate a little bit more power but basically has the same specs um, so anyway we're gonna run the um, Pride KW1 on the 2000 watt scale and other difference to pride this one has the um, dual meter with power output or plate current the DX300 only has um, power output and it has no preamp in it they basically just ham hamified it up with the high drive input instead of a 4 watt input and uh, marketed it as a ham radio and they call it a KW1 again marketing you know you get more sales calling it a KW1 versus a uh, DX300 but it's basically the same um, amplifier minus the preamp and um, the 4 watt drive also this didn't have a key in circuit in it either from factory you had to use a uh, foot switch or you had to put a key in, uh, uh, automatic key in circuit in it to key which this one does have that and it's been converted down or however to a Pry DX300 single banner so Anyway, I guess enough talking with the little 2 watt, 2.5 watt tram going into a 2000 watt scale. We got the bias turned down. So it's dead key about 75. Audio. Talking about 350, 400. Audio. Whistling over 5. And that's RMS. And we're going to put it on peak carefully because all this stuff is live. Audio, audio, audio. 700 peak. And I'm going to put it back on uh, average or RMS. And uh, got the mic lock. And I was going to play with the um, bias a little bit with the adjustable bias. And you can see the power output you know on the meter going up there and you can see the uh, watt meter over here that's dead key and then that's all the way down so the bias kind of takes it a long way with this one with the nomad board in there so that's all I'm going to show today on this um, modified uh, pride KW1 with a uh, tram D201 modified with a uh, Night Eagle over here and we didn't even um, run the wind jammer into it but the wind jammer um, if we ran it it would basically peak out at the same thing but we can uh, dial in the uh, dead key a lot lower um, if we dial down the wind jammer but anyway uh, that's gonna be it for these toys and um, basically none of these are for sale these are some of my uh, favorite toys um, you know we have sold prides kw's and 300's in the past and always regretted it and i'm getting old so uh it took me a long time to get them they're getting harder and harder to, to find both the uh prides and a uh, wind jammers with the leds i like these and uh, again one of my favorite um trams with the somebody modified the pll in it and it works great so these are some of my keepers um let me try to get on the air with this tomorrow and uh, play around a little bit. Um, so that's going to be it for this one. Bye.